is a quick tutorial video on how to install this cup mod for IL2 1946. Uh, cup, the community's universal patch, is uh, a new mega mod for IL2 1946, combining a lot of previous mods into one and making use of the new HD update for IL2 1946. First thing you'll need to do is head over to the SES website um, and go to the cup site of the forum uh, and download the relevant parts that you want. You need to download all 12 of the modular map expansions and at least all the sections of at least one other module. Uh, I like all three eras, which are Dawn of Flight, World at War and the Jet Age, so I have all three sections. So once downloaded, you can see here all 12 parts for the modular map expansion. It's time to start actually putting the files into IL-2. Now, the install instructions do say to install it directly into the IL2 directory. However, from experience, this is a bad idea. And indeed, um, whether you're a Steam user or not, the, um, there have been people complaining that it's not working when you just extract it straight into the IL2 root directory. So the best thing to do is copy them all into a folder. I've got one folder for each one, just to keep things straightforward. And then what you need to do is extract each archive. One thing it's also not important to uh, sorry. One thing it is quite important to do. Um, the files do overwrite each other. So while it's a bit tedious, you can't just select them all and click extract here. You cannot do that. Otherwise, it'll screw up if it happens to not go in the correct order, which is more often than not the case. What you need to do, like I say, is a bit tedious. Is just extract here for each and every one. Doesn't take too long in a good system. So once we're all extracted into the same folder, you will have a folder that looks a bit like this. So there's no need to copy over the zip files, but for the rest of them, you select them all, copy, and you go over to your IL2 root directory. Um, mine's already has the mod installed. So what you would just do here, root directory is paste, you'll get asked if you want to overwrite things yes you do there's a lot to copy over <laughs> I have a lot of conflicts because um, like I say I have already installed this mod but I'll just go over it again for the sake of demonstration um, and yeah every time you want to overwrite something just say yes um, when you're doing a first install of it there won't be a great deal of things that need overwritten but um, like I say I am doing this <laughs> over an existing install so just make sure you have the pro proper permissions to copy into the root directory for IL2 and then once it finishes that will be the the start of the mod installed So, once it's all been copied across, uh, and you've got all parts of your um, your mod in, whether it's you know the Jet Age, Dawn of Flight, or the World at War. Okay, first of all, you need to go to gsgme.exe, which is a mod enabler for a variety of games. It'll ask you whether you want to open it. And what to do from here, start from the ground up and go through the various expansions and add them into your game. Um, start with Cup, go through the options that are there and then just you'll hit the arrow to the right to have them installed. Some, some of them install instantly, some of them do take a wee bit of time. Uh, just read through the various descriptions of them to find what ones you want and what ones you can do without. So go from Cup onwards, then go through the Dawn of Flight, the Jet Age, and the World of War ones. Um, those are usually fairly straightforward. Then go back and look at the SAS ones. The reason why I say to go back and look at the SAS ones is um, a lot of the SAS mods are the same and in, are indeed superseded by the Cup ones. So what to do here is just look 
for ones that you don't have that you want. Stuff like the catapult mod and the flyable AI aircraft, which I believe is actually required um, for Cup to work, by the way. Um, yes, so you need all of those enabled, and like I say, a lot of them are duplicated in the Cup, but have the Cup ones instead of the SAS. So once you've got all of your options set how you want them, that really, you're well, you're just about done. The mods are now installed, but they're not going to appear in game. What you need to go oh, where the devil is it? Ah, here we go. Um, you'll notice an executable has been added. It's il2selector.exe. You want to start that, and you'll have change settings. And here's where you get to pick what mod you want. So you got the stock game. Ah, uh, this. Whatever this is. Uh, the original SAS mod act which I had installed and then you get to pick between the three ages. So pick one of them, let's go for Dawn of Flight, why not? Save settings and I believe you can do this normally but I'm a Steam user so it doesn't work for me so I, f I just exit here and then I go down to Steam and start IL2. So now I've got all the nice shiny splash screens and the game will load, load with all the mods installed. And then that's it, assuming you've got all the correct permissions to copy in to uh, the root directory and you've set up your options in JS, GME, <laughs> god it's tricky to remember that. Um, so long as you've selected all the options and there's no conflicts, then you should be fine just to load up the game and go once you've uh, selected your settings and IL2 selector. Right, that's my little video on how to install the cup mod for IL2. Um, I have a slight deviation away from the recommended procedure, mainly because I've got a lot of trouble using, um, sorry, installing mods directly to the various games root directory because I use Steam. But this has worked for me, um, and hopefully it will work for you too. So give it a shot and enjoy the game. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, God.